A revolution is underway in science classrooms. The demands of the new workplace and the ready access to information afforded by new technologies have radically changed the way we define a scientifically literate society. More than ever, teachers need professional development that provides them with the resources they need and empowers them to take the action required to build classrooms where the next generation of scientifically literate students will flourish. Inquiry Science Learning, Perspectives and Practices is a series of four courses, each designed to address a different strand in the development of skills teachers need to meet the demands of their career. Rice University has been a top-tier university and leading research institution since its founding 100 years ago. The newly formed Rice Center for Digital Learning and Scholarship is home to a variety of programs, all dedicated to developing disruptive technologies to improve educational outcomes for learners of all ages. The instructors for the classes have more than half a century of combined experience in classrooms, as well as decades of experience providing professional development to thousands of teachers. I came to Texas when I was two years old. You might be surprised to find out that I was actually born in Zimbabwe. I wanted to be a teacher ever since I was in fourth grade, and I was so happy to graduate in 2002 with a Bachelor of Science in Special Education. For the next seven years, I bounced around in education. I taught some elementary, I taught some high school, I taught some public, some private, some traditional, some Montessori, some general ed, and some special ed. During that time, I also got a master's degree in program planning and change and environmental education. Then I found my way to Rice University where I started doing teacher training in campus support. So I got to engage in amazing conversations with teachers around the idea of constructivism, and then I got to go into the classroom and help them implement these amazing student-centered lessons. That was just a pleasure. Um, so now I look forward to engaging in conversations with you. I graduated from the University of Michigan in 1985 with a Bachelor's of Science in Education. General Science was my major, and Earth Science was my minor. Uh, while at the University of Michigan, I actually studied Tagalog for a year. I began teaching in 1988 in Houston, Texas. I taught middle school for eight years, almost exclusively to non-native speakers of English. Uh, during that time, I was able to uh, get my master's. I've also taught high school. I've uh, worked as a science specialist in fourth and fifth grade, uh, and I've written curriculum at the district level. Um, Previous to this position, I worked in a training lab where we were able to give elementary school teachers instruction in science content and pedagogy. Through these Coursera courses, we're hoping to replicate that on a much larger scale. I'm originally from St. Louis. I have a Bachelor of Science degree in Geology that I received in 1982. Um, education is my third degree. Prior to that, I was a cartographer for the Defense Mapping Agency in the U.S. Geological Survey. After that, I worked in zoos for nine years. I was an elephant keeper before moving into education. I started teaching in 2001. I first started as a fourth grade self-contained teacher and then I was a K through five science lab teacher, a fifth grade teacher, and a sixth grade science teacher. When I moved out of the classroom, I was a science content specialist for the Houston Independent School District, working with 14 elementary schools to help them improve science on their campuses. After leaving Houston Independent School District, I started working for Rice University and I was one of the three trainers for the elementary model science lab for six years. I currently am in charge of sales and marketing and training of teachers who purchase or adopt STEM scopes, our online digital science curriculum. I'm from Alito, Texas, and I started teaching in 2002 with the Teach for America program at Port Houston Elementary. I've also had extensive experience as a science facilitator and coordinator in the Houston Independent School District, a science coach and specialist uh, and curriculum writer uh, at Rush University, as well as currently the executive director of the Center for Digital Learning and Scholarship and a a curriculum program called STEM Scopes. Uh, I also teach um, in a doctoral level classes at University of Houston for their executive education program in digital learning. I teach a digital learning program for the Masters of Arts in Teaching program here at Rice University. And I'm also um, teaching a master's level class at the University of Houston regarding technology in the classroom. Is this course for me? 
We think that this course might be most applicable to teachers with three or more years of experience teaching K through eight, but actually the concepts and techniques covered in the course are useful for teachers of any grade level and any amount of teaching experience. I'm not sure I have enough time. What's the time commitment? Between viewing the presentations, readings, homework, and peer review, we expect the teacher to spend between two and four hours per week on our Coursera course. The greatest time commitment is definitely going to be in the homeworks, which is why we've designed the homeworks to be things teachers can use in their classrooms. That way, once you've completed a homework and done peer review, you haven't simply done busy work, you've created a resource that you can use and share with others in the course. Is a certificate awarded? What about continuing education hours? Every participant who completes the courses will receive a certificate of completion. In addition, the Rice Center for Digital Learning and Scholarship is approved by the Texas Education Agency to provide CPE hours for teachers in Texas. Each teacher will receive 16 CPE hours after they complete the course. Additionally, we will try to work with teachers outside of Texas to see if your states will accept these hours. What else do I get? Besides getting to collaborate with an awesome team of professional development providers and teachers and students from around the globe, you'll have access to resources from our online digital science program called STEM Scopes that we developed here right at Rice University from the Digital Learning and Scholarship Center. What is this second course all about? In this course, we will focus on helping teachers master techniques and strategies that create a learning environment so that students are empowered and have mastery over science content and skills. See you in class.